Uh, hi guys. Uh, good morning, Professor Rajan Kamathia. So many students have asked me, sir, uh, is there an option for deferring the November exam? So here I thought that I will guide you. Is there an option for deferring the November exam? And if yes, what are the pros and cons? Uh, one would answer, yes, there is an option to defer the November exam. And now let's look at it in detail. So I think this would have made some people happy. And uh, they will find out by themselves ki why they are in a position to defer the exam. So that's an introspection that they will do it by themselves. Others, if you believe that you are doing well for the November exam, then stop the video here. Don't even go ahead. There's no point of going ahead. So the answer is yes, it, there is a way to defer the exam. But this is not a voluntary deferral, unlike it was the February exam ka deferral. February exam ka deferral was voluntary deferral in case you believe that you have a, I, I mean, in case you have a fear that by going to the center, you will catch Corona. For that fear, they had given a voluntary deferral that you could defer the exam. No reasons will be asked for February deferral. Then they had canceled the May exam anyways. In India, they had canceled it. July and August exams may again, similar kind of a November deferral, not a February deferral. A reason while a deferral, not a voluntary free deferral, but reason while a deferral was offered. And uh, the reasons, I'm going to walk you through across the reason, but reasons are like you have a corona or there's a death in the family. So I'm going to walk you across the reason. But the thing was that uh, the July students who opted for a deferral or who requested for a deferral, and the August students who also opted for a deferral or requested for a deferral, they were given deferral without a question being asked. Although it was not a voluntary free without reason for a deferral, you had to like see if you qualify for a deferral, then only it was a deferral to be applied for. But whoever applied had got a, a, a kind of a free deferral without any documents being asked, which is a policy of the CF Institute to have a trust on the students that for the eligibility criteria also, like while registering, they don't ask for any documents. So similarly over here, as long as they don't have a kind of a, a they don't have a thing to believe that you might be lying. They don't ask for the documents. Okay, so over for November deferral, so they are not asking for any documents, although you should be falling in one of the criteria for that. Okay, so let's see those criteria and then we will see ki what would be the problems of applying for the deferral. So criteria to general, okay, so you will be able to see the criteria in a while. But the problem over here is if you go for a deferral, let's say you are a level one guy. So if you defer a level one November exam, unfortunately, Feb is not possible. Unfortunately, if you defer a November exam of level one, Feb 22 level one is not possible to go for May 22. And then your level two earliest would be in Feb 23. If you go with your level one November 21 right now, then earliest you could take a level two would be in August 22. If you defer a level one November 21, then the earliest you can take level one would be May 22. Not Feb 22, level one would be May 22 and according to level two would be Feb 23. Okay, so let me put it on the screen actually. So right now, if you are enrolled for a level one November 21 and you're gonna defer this, then earliest you can take it would be in May 22 and then your level two would be earliest in Feb 23. If you continue with your level one November 21, then the earliest you can take level two would be in August 22. And there is a considerable time to prepare for level two in this period of time. And same over here also, actually. There's considerable time to prepare for level two. Okay, so that's the thing with the level one. If you are a level two November 21 guy, then actually if you are from level two June 20 badge, then I am actually annoyed a little bit that how you, you couldn't manage the time between June 20 to November 21, especially when you were preparing for May 21, actually you were preparing for June 20. I know it was a basically on off, on off, start stop thing, but still abhi to thoda clarity tha ki exam hone wala and abhi bhi lag ki exam hoga, uh, unless the corona again spikes, which only God will know whether it will spike or not. But I know it was a kind of demotivating thing to start and then again find a thing that corona is coming back. So exam got cancelled, but I don't Tinky, now still we have around, we are on the uh, first week of October. So we do have considerable time to revise everything and go for November exam. If you are level one Feb guy cleared, then still you had a considerable time, by the way. I mean, if you are level one Feb guy cleared, uh, you got your uh, result in April. So you had half of April, then May, June, July, August, September, October, November, 
around seven and a half months. And actually, no one stopped you to study in this period also. So you had a good amount of time to study. So again, I'm a little disappointed. But anyways, uh, so let's see if you decide to defer a level to November 21. You decide to defer this, then your level two would be directly in August 22. There is no May 22. Or if it is no May 22, the level two is going to happen now in Feb and August. That's it. There is no May. There is no November. This time there was the uh, the May and November, but this next year is going to be Feb and August. So they are not going to give you, they will not give you level to Feb, so it will be level to August. Okay, so that's going to be a huge kind of a setback. You were preparing for this exam. Because of Corona, you decided to really go for December 20. It didn't happen in India. Then you go went for May 21. It didn't happen again because of Corona. Then this exam, I believe is happening, but some of you are, uh, let's say, are underprepared, so I'm not confident of taking the exam, and I don't understand the reason why. But anyways, uh, if you are in that category, then your level two would be straight away over here, which is going to be very disappointing factor, I believe. Okay. And then level three would be in the May 22. Level three happens in the November and the May and the November month. So level three would be May 22. So... If you are going ahead with your level to November 21, suppose if you go ahead with your level to November 21, your level three would be May 22, your CFA course will be over. Okay. But if you cancel your level to November 21, if you cancel this, then your level two itself is going to happen in August 22. Because Feb 22, they are not going to give it to you. Okay, they, they will not give you. You can request, but I believe they will not going to give it to you. And then your level three would be May 23. So your entire CFA course is going to get delayed by one year. All right. So that's the bad point from the level two perspective. Your entire course is going to get delayed by one year. Level one case mein to thik tha ki level one case mein it was like your level two gets delayed by around six months. Level two August 22, level two Feb 23. Six months ka delay. That's a penalty for your not preparing well for the November 21 exam. So if you are not prepared well for November 21, they are penalizing you by six months. They are not penalizing you for any monetary thing, but you are penalizing you for six months delay in level two. But for level two, if you are unprepared, they are penalizing you a little bit more from your course, which could have got over in May 22. Now it's going to get over in May 23. Let's see if you are underprepared for level three exam. So level three, November 20, and if you go ahead, then your course gets over at that point only. And if you are not prepared for level three, November 20, and if you decide to defer it, then your level three would be happening in May 22. So it's a six months of delay. So level one and level three guys are going to have a six months of delay. But level two guys are going to be worst hit. They will be taking their level two in August of next year and level three in the May of next to next year. But if you clear level two right now, your level three would be in May of next year and your course would be over. So that's the thing that I wanted to tell you. Now, let me just walk you through across the criterias. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through across the criterias. I'm just going to put CFA deferral on the Google and I'll click on this link. So earlier, uh, initially, it will mention that we don't have a refund policy, we don't have a deferral policy, and except for the November 21. Okay, so there is a November 21 over here. Let's click on this form. They will ask us for a login. We have to log in. Okay, so I'm going to uh, log in. I'm hiding the email ID, etc. right now. I'm pausing the share for a minute. All right, so I logged in and uh, now let's look at, be sure to completely read this deferral policy before submitting the form. We no longer accept or process the deferral request by phone or email, so no emails. All deferrals will be processed via this form only and granted on qualifying reasons below. So these are the qualifying reasons. You or your family members are suffering from a life-threatening illness, including COVID-19. So COVID-19 they are considering as a life-threatening thing. Family members is your parent, mom, dad, grandparent, uh, Nana ji, Dada ji, Nani, Dadi, etc. Sibling, brother, sister, spouse, uh, wife or husband, domestic partner, this is US. So apart from spouse, and uh, you understand what I'm talking about. And child, the son or the daughter, if they are suffering or you are suffering, then you will be qualifying for a referral. But cost of that, you know, level one getting delayed by six months. If, if you are in uh, level two, then your course get delayed by one year. And level three also by six months. 
a member unfortunately has passed away okay so uh, some of your immediate family members has passed away within what period of time they are not mentioned huh? okay and reason also they have not mentioned it because of covid or anything they have not mentioned about it and this is specifically only for the november exam you have been put for mandatory military services i don't think so any even uh, would be appearing for cf in that case you're pregnant so in that case also you're going to qualify uh you are exam uh, has been rescheduled by promatric to okay isme to obviously you if they if the promatric center that you selected is no more going to be valid you would be given another promatric center and if you're not okay with that you can defer you are unable to find a new acceptable appointment date and this is important in the 14 days prior to exam appointment okay in the 14 days prior to exam appointment not right now in the 14 days prior to the exam appointment you have been exposed to someone diagnosed with covid 19 not right now in the 14 days prior to the exam appointment you have been exposed to someone who is diagnosed with covid 19 so you came in contact with someone who has uh, covid 19 you have been experiencing cold which are like corona like symptoms you are unable to travel to your exam appointment because of uh, you don't have a local train pass because you are not double vaccinated and a natural disaster okay so in that case you will be apply you can apply for a deferral so if you are going to apply for this then you cannot submit a form right now obviously you can anticipate ki in the last 14 days i will come in contact with someone who is agnes covid covid 19 so if you are going to apply for right now obviously you will not be able to select this one as a reason okay and uh, the form is oh, they mean the same thing that they mentioned over here what i said ki what deferral is etc uh, which what to defer and deferral form mein reason nahi mention kiya okay so deferral form is first name last name email id so they have not uh, asked for any reason so technically if even if you want to apply using this reason then you don't have to submit this reason so which means that you can put deferral form right now also you can fill the deferral form right now also then because they are not asking for the reason in the deferral just the name last name and the email id the same email id which you have used to create a cfa wala account and the exact name which is there in your passport or in the cfa program wala name all right so i am not at all encouraging to go for a referral i'm not at all encouraging because you know the cost is six months getting delayed for level 1 and level 3 and level 2 getting delayed by one year so i'm not encouraging i just did this video because it was requested by few level 2 few not many few level 2 and few level 1 students hope it helped you it was quite easy and i hope it helped you out all right thank you so much guys